coal and steel, two core ingredients of India's developing economy. But the supply chains of these key elements of economic and infrastructure development were once reeling under severe lack of transparency and efficiency, both in terms of trading and availability. It was plagued by numerous bottlenecks that created unfair opportunities for some and trouble for a lot more. Small industrialists like Mr. Dilip Tandon, whose glass factory almost came to a standstill one fine morning in July 2004, suffered heavily. Mr. Tandon was informed by his works manager that production was slowing down as availability of coal had taken a major jolt. In spite of trying numerous sources, Mr. Tandon couldn't find a reasonable way out. Even calls to government officials fell on deaf ears. They were helpless. Then the inevitable happened. One of his managers suggested that he meet the local coal supplier, Dharam Singh. He had all the control over the pricing and supply of coal. If a deal could be struck with Dharam Singh, there would be no supply gags, at least for the short-term needs of the factory. Reluctant in the beginning, Mr. Tandon agreed to the suggestion and visited Chotelai, as Dharam Singh was popularly known in the area. Chotilal was a man who not only refused to supply coal at the market rate but also charged five times the actual value. Mr. Tundon tried to negotiate but was quickly driven out of the coal lord's den. A frantic Mr. Tundon eventually succumbed to the prevalent system and paid a heavy price for sourcing the coal that he desperately needed. Such were the perils of coal buyers in the early days. The government had tried various measures to cleanse the system, but to no avail. In Dhanbad, there was an exchange which was running. And in that exchange, the delivery orders which were issued to these non-core sector consumers, those are all going to that exchange and changing hands. And at every stage, some money was being made by the middlemen. The last consumer was naturally required to pay much higher price than the notified price for coal at which the delivery order was issued. We thought that justifiably this is our money. That's actually the value of coal. And the value of coal was being misappropriated by a chain of middlemen. And this is simply something which can't be allowed. So it was a very painful kind of thing on one side. The consumers don't have access. The new consumers particularly, they don't have any access. On the other side, the old consumers are doing black marketing. The company is losing money. And there is no transparency in the system. There is no efficiency in the system. And it was not just coal. Even the secondary steel market was suffering because of age-old practices and undesirable market forces. Sale in Tata Steel identified the problems plaguing the steel supply chain and realized the need to re-engineer the process using the e-business model. In 2001, they joined hands to set up N-Junction Services Limited, now the world's largest e-marketplace for steel and India's largest e-commerce company, having e-transacted over 90,000 crore rupees till date. But the coal industry at that point of time was still in doldrums. On a cold winter morning, in January 2005, two of industry's prominent personalities were taking the same flight. Their chance meeting would change the course of Indian coal industry forever. That is how Coal Junction was born. We were 
were taking a flight one day and on my side there was a gentleman sitting and I used to talk to whosoever sit, was sitting by my side to get some ideas as to <coughs> what can be done. So he happened to be one Mr. Viresh Oberai, the managing director of Metal Junction. And we chatted in the flight as to what he does. He actually does e-auction and e-auction of steel products. So I told him that, I asked him whether the same thing can be applied for coal or not. And uh, well, he did say that, well, it's possible. We quickly held a meeting with the coal secretary at that time on Mr. P.C. Parak. He was a very dynamic secretary, a very, an, in fact, an outstanding personality. So he understood the whole process, supported the whole process fully. We got a special approval from the prime minister's office for doing electronic auction of coal, selling coal on the auction platform to a limited extent as a trial. And since then, the, the policy has been implemented. Coal India has been able to make coal available. 45 million tons of coal is available to everybody, every citizen in this country. That's, that's the transparency. Register yourself there. It's very easy formality. And you can take coal for whatever. You can even trade coal. You can take coal for your use, for trading, for your own uh, purposes, consumption, whatever. And no questions will be asked on that. So this has made coal accessible to whole set of new consumers. And the company has been able to actually realize the value of coal. It has actually proven to be a, not only a revenue earner, I mean, well, does Coal India does earn about 2,500 crores annually more on account of the premiums of, of, on this coal. But that's not the main point. The main point is the efficiency and transparency of the distribution system. It has definitely made the system much more transparent. The birth of Coal Junction was a momentous occasion for M Junction, which till then had been transforming the way selling and sourcing business processes were traditionally conducted for both small enterprises as well as large corporates. M Junction has been able to break many barriers of conventional business operations, providing them with a transparent, convenient and innovative platform and empowering them in the process. Coal India possibly describes one of the most exciting transformation stories anywhere in the world. And if somebody has followed the process of listing and the events that unfolded thereafter, it is something quite unheard of, not only in the history of public sector in the country, but also in the history of corporate India. The IPO, which was for 10% of the Coal India stocks, attracted funds to the extent of 233,000 crores of rupees, unprecedented in the Indian corporate history for any IPO. Out of that 50%, roughly $27 billion came from abroad. An asset of the value of 230,000 crores has been created. Second highest in the whole of uh, corporate India and the biggest in among the public sectors. At M Junction, a dynamic team takes care of every need of the buyer and the seller. Here the frontiers of transparency and efficiency are being constantly pushed. New methods being developed and old methods being reviewed so that this confluence of the buyer and seller can always provide the best deal no matter what. We Metal Junction that we are sitting computer तीन ऑक्शन अगर चल रहे हैं तो तीनों ऑक्शन अटेंड कर सकते हैं एक ही जगह जबकि पहले हम तीनों ऑक्शन अटेंड नहीं कर पाते थे उस कारण हमें काफी परेशानी होती थी और हमें जो माल लेना होता था वो हम नहीं भी ले पाते थे आज मेटल जंक्शन के कारण हम लोग जो है बहुत आसानी से घर बैठे अपने ऑफिस बैठ के अपने मोबाइल से भी आज परचेज कर सकते हैं और उस कारण हमारी परचेजिंग ऑप्शंस जो है वो बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ गए हैं उससे हमें बिजनेस में बहुत ज्यादा फायदा मिल रहा है Today, M Junction offers a wide range of e-selling, e-sourcing, e-finance and e-knowledge services spanning the entire e-commerce spectrum. Just like secondary steel, you can buy coal today from the comfort of your armchair. After the transparency of the auction, we can purchase our rate. We can purchase from one subsidiary to another subsidiary. We can purchase from one subsidiary. ई ऑक्शन में आने के बाद में सीसीएल बीसीसीएल कोई भी सब्सिडी में हम लोग कलकत्ते में बैठ के हम रांची का धनबाद का काम कर सकते हैं पहले ये चीज संभव नहीं था 
पहले दिक्कत था दूसरे पर डिपेंड होना पड़ता था हम लोग को आजकल फिंगर टिप्स पर रेट है अब परचेज एटलीस्ट अपने हिसाब से हम लोग कर सकते हैं इन ऑल दिस आई मस्ट ऑल्सो से दैट द रोल ऑफ एम जंक्शन हैज़ बीन एग्जेम्पलरी बिकॉज दे हैव स्टूड लाइक अ रॉक विथ अस एज अ सर्विस प्रोवाइडर एम जंक्शन एक्चुअली केम आउट विथ लॉट्स ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट्स मॉडिफिकेशंस सम सॉर्ट ऑफ फाइन ट्यूनिंग द होल ऑक्शन प्रोसेस फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम एंड देयर इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन दिस गेम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड फाइव टिल डेट एंड आई बिलीव इट इज गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम हैज बीन स्टूपिंडस दे हैव डन अ मार्वलस जॉब एंड दे हैव हेल्प द कंपनी पोजिशन इट सेल्फ वेर इट इज पोजिशन टूडे दैट्स एम जंक्शन द कैटलिस्ट फॉर मेनी अ चेंज इन द इंडियन इंडस्ट्रियल होराइजन क्रिएटिंग न्यू एवेन्यूज new opportunities and standing tall as an emblem of transparency and efficiency m junction